It's 7 a.m. from Fox 35. This is Good Day Orlando. Coming up, how hackers are getting their way into your personal phone calls, plus how you can keep your conversations private. Tens of millions of people had their personal information compromised as a result of retail hacking. Yeah, but it's not just your credit cards being targeted these days. German researchers just discovered security flaws that could allow just about anyone to listen into your cell phone calls and even access your text messages. We knew this was coming. Joining me now, Tom Jellick from On Target Web Solutions. He's here with more on this. All right, so we've talked to you numerous times in 2014 about hacks for Sony, hacks for email, hacks for this, and now the cell phones. What'd you find out here? Hacking's been keeping me really busy this year, John. Yeah, and it, you know, as if anything else can't get hacked, now you got to worry about your cell phone. Scary times. Yeah, and this is interesting because I think we knew this was probably out there, but now these German researchers confirming, yeah, you have this technology that's out there, and we can listen into anything, but is it legal to do something like that? Well, you know, legal is, is relative, isn't it, John? So I, actually Actually, this, this has been around since the dawn of cell phones, and it's just these guys have kind of come out and said, well, as you're moving from cell tower to cell tower, it's possible for someone to pick up your call, listen to it, record it, um, and actually even triangulate your, posi your position with GPS. I, it's funny because I know an attorney who recently said, you don't make phone calls on cell phones, don't email me, don't do anything because, I mean, he was on the front line, he said this about a year ago, that everything is hackable, and I think we're now seeing that. I think toilet paper's hackable too. <laughs> Probably so, yeah. yeah. So no, it, it, it's really frightening, but you know, understand that the government has been using this type of technology for years to track fugitives, uh, criminals, uh, terrorists, etc. So it, it's been around, and yeah, it's a threat. Um, it does require some level of sophistication in order to pull it off. So what do you advise clients? I know this has been a busy year for your clients when, they, when it comes to these security issues. What do you tell them? Just don't, don't put anything important in writing? Don't talk on cell phones? What, what are you advising people to so do? So I get two Dixie cups and attach them with, <laughs> no, um, uh, with a string. But somebody cuts the string and they're listening in, then right, you're in big trouble. In, in all seriousness, um, it's really critical that you're just cognizant of your surroundings. Um, keep your software updated on your phone, on your computer. Um, be really cautious about your passwords with all these social media accounts. Um, you have to perform good housekeeping on these things. You know, Tom, I, you guys in the tech field have known about this stuff for a long time. You've been preaching this for years. Right. Do you think this was the year that it finally came into our consciousness when you had the Target breach, when you had, what, Home Depot, and then you have Sony to end the year? Do you think it finally put it on the radar for most people to realize that everything you have out there on the cloud, on your computer, is fair game? You know, John, that's my prayer, but I, I certainly think that a lot of us are still naive to you know, keeping track of passwords, keeping things safe. I think I think we all feel this false sense of security sometimes. And you know, my advice, 2015, I think we're going to see a lot more. And unfortunately, I think we could see a lot worse. But I really think it's critical that the consumers, people, start really paying attention to keeping things updated and, and and being smart. Okay, but you're one of the guys on the front line. Here's where the proof is: Are you worried about these kind of hacks and maybe finding out your cell phone conversations could be recorded? I'm not personally worried about my cell phone conversations because I keep them pretty clean. <laughs> but uh, certainly, I think anyone who's doing anything possibly illegal should be cognizant of what they're saying on their phones. All right, Tom Jellick on Target Web Solutions. Always good to see you, man. We'll talk to you soon. Good to see you guys.